Hello, this is Daniel Mark, and today I will be reviewing issue number four of the 1977 comic storyline, um, The Human Fly. So this is issue four from the 1977 like, storyline or series, and yeah. Um, yeah, this issue is called Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain Nightmare. As you can kind of see here, and yeah, I don't expect many of you to have read this issue, but still, my dis my disclaimers: if you haven't read it, or you know, read it or whatever, I recommend you, you know, pause the video somehow, read this if you want, and then can you continue this video. And if you're just here because you like the human fly or my channel or whatever, you can stay along if you want. You know, I don't mind. So yeah, basically, you know, as review goes, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then I'll read it. Um, so yeah, basically, the human fly is basically saving this girl named Alexandria, or Alex, or yeah, Alexandra, um, from her two fathers. Um, one, one is a, her le legitimate father; the other one's like her stepdad. Um, basically, the those. And the thing is that these two fathers are like multi millionaire business owners that are in a war over her. Um basically what happened is that her mother died and you know they were each married to to them, you know, that type of thing. And then when she died, the mother died, they kind of continued their rivalry to Alexandra. Basically in this issue human flies basically trying to save Alexandra from Originally, originally from, from, I forget this guy's name, M, 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 from, well, I find, when I find his name out, I will give you the name, but he's trying to return the girl back to, to Mr. Dreyer, which is the stepdad's uh, name, I believe, and, yeah. So you know, but he seen, but um, he kind he kind of realizes that you know what's going on. So then this all out kind of war basically blows out, and you know happens, and the human fly is basically you now trying to save the girl, and you know trying to save anybody else in the midst of this war. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. And, yeah, and I'm still trying to find the one, the one of the dad's names. So, yeah. Um, at the end, um, at the end, Human Fly does end up seeing a girl, and due to her, the fact that she got injured, um, takes her to a hospital, and the two dads now have to resolve their issues, which I believe may happen in the in issue number five or six. Um yeah, I really can't find this guy's name for some reason right now. Uh, my mobile assault. Um Miss Mr. Mort Mortinet is the guy's name. I don't know if you can see it but it's in the red. Right there with the girl's face. I don't know if you can see it but Mr. Martinet is what it says. So yeah, um, yeah. Sorry, it took me that long to find it, but you know whatever. Um, so yeah, this issue, it was good. It was okay. Um, one huge problem I really have with it is that there was just so many advertisements. Like every two pages, it was an advertisement. Um, and it just annoys me, annoys me, and it just really took me out of the experience by a lot. I mean, there was maybe two advertisements that I was okay with because they were kind of also comic-ish um comic-ish you know like almost like a small comic issue if you know what I mean um one of them was all the way in the back of the book for Spalding basketballs and another one was more well, featured spider-man um advertising bread here I found it um yeah those were the two best 
um, advertisements for this issue, and but the advertisements were a huge problem for me. Um, besides that, I mean, the coloring was good. Um, the plot was okay. I mean, I really don't know much of the human fly, maybe. If, to me, if I read any of the future issues or the past previous issues, maybe I would have understood it more. But I'm not saying I was confused, but, you know, it was okay, in my opinion. Maybe if I knew more background, I would have understood the plot more. <clears throat> um, yeah. Um, it was, it was an okay issue. You know, the coloring was good, the writing was good. Um, you know, um, yeah. <clears throat> But, <coughs> I mean, Bill Mant Mant Mantlo, who was the writer, he did good. Lee Elias, uh, who was the artist. Rod Santiago, the inker, they were good. And, you know, George Bell, who was the color, do the coloring was, uh, I think, you know, they did a pretty decent job at making this issue. Um, yeah, I mean, this scene right here is pretty cool. Um, that's a pretty cool page. Um... You know, and the cover, the cover is pretty cool. It's nice. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's basically it for this review. Um, well, not not really. Almost forgot to rate. So yeah, I'm just gonna want to tell. One being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent. Decent. I put this at a five point seven five. A little less so, um, under decent. <clears throat> and that was due to the, mm, a lot of advertising in this comic alone. Um, also, maybe mm, may due to the fact that I haven't really read any other human fly issue, but you know, I really didn't understand. Um, like, okay, I understood the plot of this issue, but like the, of the overall series, um, or at the beginning of the series, um, which kind of got me lost at the beginning, maybe to be like the first two or three, maybe four panels and then I kinda you know understood what was happening on. Um but besides that's a pretty cool issue. Um if you want you can read it if you're a human five fan then yeah I recommend you read it. I mean I mean I really don't think there's any other human fly series out there from past or present so except for this one so I believe you should you know get it if you want. Um yeah so yeah that's basically it for this review. Um five point seven five is what I would rate the human fly number four from the 1977 series and you know that's basically it remember to subscribe you know i also review other comics um and graphic novels i also review tv shows movies action figures so stay tuned for that besides that comment below on your thoughts on this video and the comic um you know if you've read the the comic or the series you know did you like it did you not like it do you think it was interesting or not interesting you know Comment below on that, or if you haven't read any Human Fly, but now you're interested, you know, are you interested now? You know, comment that, comment below if you guys want. Um, besides that, share on Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, or Vine, whatever you guys prefer. Um, remember to subscribe, and besides that, um, tell your friends, friends, and neighbors about me, my channel, maybe even Human Fly number four from the 77 series. And besides that, this is Daniel Mart signing off.